All right, it's 1 o'clock. It's 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm Stevie Zoom. Thanks for tuning in. Hope everybody's enjoying your Sunday, early Sunday afternoon. We are ready for some live music in our studio. We want to welcome back Bobby Bear Jr.'s Young Criminal Starvation League. Mr. Bobby Bear Jr., welcome back. Yes, it's good to be here. We're glad to see you. You've got the band, a full band sound going on this new record, Undefeated, playing tonight at the Showbox at the Market with Guided by Voices. GBV, BBJ, forever. Mr. Pollard. (laughs) Uh, We'll talk about the new record. You you ready for a couple songs? Let's hit it. All right, go ahead.
Ready to do one more? Oh, sure. When you took my joy, left me nothing but regret. The scientists who found me thought I was all red and dead. So give me a heart, it is my own. And now all my love is super sonic. Live music right here at 90.3 KEXP. You're listening to, listening to Bobby Bear Jr.'s Young Criminal Starvation League playing tonight at the Showbox at the Market, opening up for Guided by Voices. And if in the flesh is not enough, the celluloid Bobby Bear Jr., uh, the uh, documentary Don't Follow Me, I'm Lost is going to be shown tonight in Belltown there at the Jewel Box Theater at the Rendezvous. And it's free, and it's 6 p.m., and it fits right in with today's being the last day of the Seattle International Film Festival. Oh wow! So I did not know I was part of that. Yeah, or the film. I'm my my friend Hank's film yeah. was part of that. Yeah, my I'm sort of adding that in that I'm yeah. making you a part of that. Thanks. Yes. All right. That's at the the free showing of the film at six o'clock at the Jewel Box Theater. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back. I think this is the in the years that have been happening here with you making live appearances and and records at KEXP. I think this is the longest stretch between albums and between playing live on the air. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Undefeated is the new album, and you've stated this is the, the breakup record. Uh, it's more the getting dumped record, ah, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. But now, it was a little bit more awkward when you're asked about the record instead of just playing the songs? Uh, no, I laid it out there. Yeah. You know, I didn't have to 
spread my sadness. Yeah. Share the pain. So but. in in writing these songs and putting them together for this album and then having the band sound here, mm-hmm. um, did the, the, what led one led to the other? Uh, we just went into the in previous albums. I've gone and uh, recorded the whole album on a computer and used that as a rehearsal tape to take 11 or 10 or whatever many people in the studio for one or two days to record the whole record live, basically. Yeah. So this time I did the opposite where I just came in with songs and said, okay, guys, it kind of goes like this, and then recorded it. Yeah. So. And before we get much further, I want you to introduce to the listeners the... Uh, Okay. The on league the, here. On the bass guitar, that's Richie Kirkpatrick. He is an Aquarius and an Eagle Scout. On the keys over there is Robbie Crowell. He is, what are you? I'm a Gemini. Gemini. He's a Gemini and uh, a Canadian. And on the drums from Nashville, Tennessee, is Jerry Pentecost. He is, did you say Taurus or Libra? Libra. Libra. My name is Jerry. You can tell. <laughs> of course, he's a Libra. Gosh, sorry. All right. Um, glad you guys are all here. It's great hearing a, a loud band sound with this new record, and there, there's a lot of cool arrangements on the album as well. Lots of little different instrumentation that always kind of has those nice touches to the to the songs. Yeah, I'm writing straight up country songs, and then we just get to molest and distort and twist it up into something somewhat interesting hopefully yeah now uh, i was going to ask and then somebody here asked me the uh the cover photo of undefeated mm-hmm. has a bit of a northwest touch to it it's- that's doe bay that's we went out there uh in the fall once just not just just to go and hang out and uh that's my bass player jesse uh talking to his girlfriend sarah yeah, and you did you take that photo? Uh, yes, yes, I took that photo. Yeah, yeah. Another thing that you've been doing, uh, you were here. You've been doing the the house parties mm-hmm. for a number of years. I believe yeah. you had one here earlier this year, actually on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, yeah. Uh, Kill your Valentine's Day. Yeah, I should have been there. <laughs> <laughs> should is a worthless word. The only time you use the word should is when you're talking about something that doesn't exist. Yeah. Just, uh, I, just, I didn't know that the, you know, the songs that were happening here on this upcoming album at that time, uh-huh. and then uh, being here on Valentine's Day, I was like, yeah. I missed the tight opportunity. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing more house parties. Those, yeah, I like doing those. Th- those, I'm sure, are going to be in the future with yeah. you still doing those. Yeah. Yeah. There's got to be... They're fun. There's, what, is, what about those doing your songs in that atmosphere that you've learned about some of your songs? Well, some it? of them just don't work acoustically so i just don't do them yeah and then some that i don't play live loud work a lot better with just an acoustic guitar so and that it's it's a real fun performance thing having that wall between you know that imaginary wall between the stage and and who and and the listener you can walk behind people you can if somebody requests a song i'll pull up a chair and sit right in front of them go okay man here we go (laughs) Now, this tour, you're with Guided by Voices. Yes. How many shows have you guys done so far? Four, four or five. A few. One, two, three. I guess last night was... Tonight will be five. Will be five. And yeah. um, do, have you known Mr. Pollard before from Guided by Voices? I've met him after shows a couple of times. I don't think he remembers that. But I've uh, we, we've been hanging a lot when we can on the road. Yeah. He's a very special person. So were you contacted by him to uh, join yeah. him on this tour? Yeah, what's crazy? Yeah, I was contacted the day I, I had my bro- my dad's sister, Sissy, was in a hospital in Dayton, Ohio, and we thought she was in ICU. We thought she was going to die. We were told she was going to die. And the day she got better and got out of the day she turned around and started getting better was the exact day that I had got a call that, we were going to get to do this. So I thought something special is going on in Dayton, Ohio. Definitely. Yeah. my dad. Maybe my dad went over and, and muscled him. Maybe my dad went over and said, hey, man, <laughs> All listen right. to this music. Undefeated is the new album playing tonight at the Showbox at the Market with Guided by Voices. Ready for a couple more songs? Yes. This is the title track.
You want the next, the last one? Sure, more fun. Okay.
Live music right here at 90.3 KEXP. Bobby Bear Jr.'s Young Criminal Starvation League, north of Alabama by morning, and the one prior to that, Undefeated, the title song on the new record. And playing tonight, along with Guided by Voices at the Showbox at the Market. And once again, the uh, documentary, Don't Follow Me, I'm Lost. Six o'clock, it's free, and it's at the Jewel Box Theater. Great new album. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here, and uh, thanks for uh, sharing some of the uh, latest from you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Smelliest band that ever did it in studio. Oh, I won't gonna, tell anybody. No, I'm not going to say it on the mic. But you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to think about it. Any, uh, any last uh, shout-outs to any friends here in Seattle while you've got the mic? Yeah. Um, no. No. <laughs> Come on everybody down, to- down at the tractor and the sunset. Yeah. Those are my, my friends. Yeah. But tonight it's at the showbox at the market. Yes. A lot of friends are going to be there. Thank you so much. Thanks to our engineer, Jackson. It's 90.3 KEXP, Seattle.